Septic systems use a combination of nature and time-tested technology to treat wastewater from our homes. Over time, technology has improved to protect our families and our environment from harmful bacteria, viruses, and contaminants such as nitrogen. When nitrogen enters our waterways, it can stimulate large algae blooms which create dead zones where fish and marine plants can no longer survive. The original septic system was called a cesspool. This was a concrete or brick-lined pit where waste from the house collected, the solid settled to the bottom, and wastewater was allowed to escape into the surrounding soil, leaching into the groundwater while still carrying a full load of nitrogen and pollutants. The groundwater would then carry the wastewater into any nearby waterway. In a traditional gravity-based septic system, waste flows from the house into a settling chamber. There, the solids settle to the bottom while bacteria acts on the nitrogen and other pollutants in the wastewater. This minimally treated wastewater flows into the drain field. Still containing significant amounts of nitrogen and other pollutants, the wastewater drains into the surrounding soil, eventually entering the groundwater and flowing into any nearby waterway. In a modern septic treatment system, waste flows from the house into a primary settling chamber where bacteria begin to break down the waste and pollutants such as nitrogen. Solids settle to the bottom and wastewater flows into a secondary chamber, where aeration promotes a different kind of bacterial breakdown of pollutants. A third chamber in some systems provides an additional treatment before the wastewater enters the drain field. With each of these septic systems, after wastewater leaves the drain field, it's slowly absorbed and further filtered naturally by the soil below. Systems that are closer to waterways are often above coarse soil containing sand and gravel, which makes it easier for wastewater to reach waterways before being properly filtered. Innovative and alternative systems are crucial in these areas to assist in the removal of nitrogen. As we continue to improve the way we treat wastewater, we will improve the quality of our drinking water and our environment for ourselves, our children, and our grandchildren.